Okie dokie, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, I'm the Ravishing Russian Lana, also known as CJ Perry, whatever you wanna call me. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of things to say because today we have a very, very, very special guest and our first guest to show us how to do her special makeup and hair that she wears on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. The one and only, the lady of WWE. Yes, the sassy Southern Belle myself, Lacey Evans. Boom! Yes, that accent. Oh, stop. It comes natural. We're, we're Kinda like my hair, by the way. This is all natural, no extensions. Mm. Like Lord, would you wig. look at it? Yeah, you don't want me to snatch that thing off on camera. <laughs> no, we don't. I mean, it might go viral, but. <laughs> um, yes, this is all natural. So yes, everyone watching this with extensions, wigs, and just not long, beautiful, blonde, natural hair, feel free to hate because I'm hating right now. Ugh, yeah. They all do. Honey. This is her natural, she's a natural blonde. Natural blonde. Naturally long. Anyways. Okay, I'm super excited about this. Yep, I've got some little secret things that I like to do to keep this flawless face and um, keeping it classy all day long. Yes, definitely okay. pinup inspired. Um, kind of conservative, kind of natural, but also fierce and confident. Yes. So I like to mix a little bit of both, but I do keep it very natural, very classy, and very sophisticated for sure. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's get let's get started. Well, well, for starters, I always wash my face, like just wipe it down with some tea tree oil and then put a little lotion on. So three things that I do to my face before I get ready, when I'm taking my makeup off, is the tea tree oil wipes. And my one of many secret ingredients that I have in my little brave and beautiful bag Ooh. is this. I refill it, I take it on the road with me, and it's actually witch hazel. So, witch hazel. which I, yeah, I learned it actually from the makeup artist with that do our makeup for WWE. And, mm, um, it's still really delish. Yeah, my, and I, I have very sensitive skin, so I can't use anything too harsh. But yeah, you just spray Sharing's that. It's caring. So, wait, what is this? Witch? It's witch hazel. You can get it at CVS, you can get it at Walgreens in the skin care aisle. And it just kind of like cleans my face and I've never even heard of this before. Yeah, I love it. But like I said, the makeup ladies for WWE told me all about it. Oh. And uh, it cleans your face. It, it actually minimizes the pores, which is really the, yes, it's the worst that's the worst thing is when you're trying to put makeup on and you've got big clogged terrible pores. It's disgusting. So do you do so. use this when you take your makeup off as well? Yes, I do. I use the same thing. Um, I don't put a lot of stuff on my face. Um, this is actually Volition Cream. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It actually smells like cucumber. And it's very Ooh. gentle for your face. And I just put a little bit because I don't like my face to look too oily. But you definitely want it to be moisturized before you put on your makeup, your foundation. Oh, I have so. really, really dry skin, so this is great. Yeah, and it holds, you know, it holds my makeup and it doesn't make it too Where is this from? Too crazy. Um, Where did you get this from? It's, it's actually one of the um, ladies that sent us all that stuff, that big package that they sent us. Oh. And I've been using it ever since. It's been like six months now. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you don't put a lot of moisturizer on. Like I just like put, like literally I take like a claw and I put it all over myself. Yeah, no, I just put a little bit on the cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead, down below. And since we're, right now we're in Saudi and I'm, we're in the desert, so right. I feel like my skin is like literally, like I'm turning into a mushroom. And then Lord, look at us, we've got a good palette. We're ready to freaking take some more. Now let's get to my actual face makeup. Now I always start with my eyebrows. Now before I got with WWE, I was not a makeup person whatsoever. Really? Um, absolutely oh, not. Oh, well. She was in the military. Yeah, and we don't wear makeup in the military. It's uh, it's starting to change a little bit. People are getting away with a lot more. Uh, if I was in charge, I would definitely say wipe it off because you know really? you don't really need it. I would no, say I mean, everyone put on makeup right absolutely now. Absolutely not. I guess it just let's all be ravishing. I guess it just depends on the job that you have in the military, but like, True. I mean, we're sweating, we're freaking running. Like, what do you need it on for? You know, who are you trying to impress? 
you're not gonna impress me, so wipe it off is pretty much the speech I'd give every day. I mean, that's a good speech. I would be like, oh my god, you're totally impressing me with your makeup. Really? Oh. Terrible. Oh I will say today I'm very pale. Normally I'm not this pale, so um, I have actually naked foundation. Um, Ooh, and that's it's from Urban Decay, right? Right, and it's 24-hour wear. You know, we sweat a lot. We yeah. go at it a lot. I, I like it. Um, it gets me where I need to go. But with, I will say this: I do not like an oily, oily face, which I actually I have in here. Wow. It's all broken and crusty. But let me tell you something right now: I am a penny pincher, and I save money. If if my foundation, save your coins. Week, I save my coins. There's a lot of powder left in this bag. Wow. It may be crusted, it may be falling out, but I'm gonna continue to use it. This will last another six months. Okay. With that being said, while this does make it, it leaves a little bit of an oily tint, I love this Revlon Color Stay, which is a normal dry um, option. And that gives me a little bit of the matte look. So what I do, especially with days like this where I need to, I only got roughly 45 minutes to right. throw on a face, a classy, confident, confident is so important face. I mix these two, Perfect. get them ready. I don't have time to go and spray tan and then do all that. So I have wow. to make my color and my complexion work. Okay, so, so I've got these both. two colors. Love that. So with us a little bit in WWE, like we do a lot of spray tans. Mm -hmm. And so really our complexion does change. Like I'm really dark right now because I have a spray tan and she, you're a little bit lighter than usual because you don't. So right. we really do have to have like different types of foundations. I, I always personally carry always a couple different um, concealers. Right. I have like my foundation and then several different concealers to mix so I can like basically mix into the right. um, whatever color I am. I have blonde hair, naturally blonde hair. Um, so my eyelashes are so, so blonde that you cannot see them at all. So what I do is I've got the little brush, brush them down, and then I just darken them. And this I got, it's called a Tattoo Studio from Maybelline, Ooh, CVS Walgreens, okay. and um, it's pretty dark. Um, but you know, I believe in a pretty fierce eyebrow my eyes should pop you know i make eye contact with everyone that is one thing that confident women should always do mm. um, eye contact is so important so that being said a nice dark eyebrow to bring out that fierceness of of your eyes um is always a plus you know one thing though oh god you see i don't i can't do this looks great it's really hard for me to do creams how do you do the creams yeah, go with with the eyebrow hair. What I like to do is take this, how do you pronounce this? Because I have no idea. Tarte. Tarte? I think so. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, it's Tarte. Shape Tape Double Duty Beauty. And actually Mandy Rose got me hooked on this. Ooh, love yeah. some Mandy Rose. Whenever you get freaking blemishes, you just cover them right up. Um, I like to put this all around my eye to really brighten up and get that matte look. So, mm. um, and then down here, if I have any blemishes, which I don't, um, I would definitely put that on. What are we doing? We're going, we're, we're going warrior paint, right? Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I like that you do dots. So let me try to do dots. I don't do dots. And you spread it. You go boom, boom, boom. Boom. It's yeah. more like a warrior, right? Like that is I just like makeup. But like now I'm ready to fight. Now I'm ready to battle the day. You see, she literally, you can tell she's in the military. She already has her war paint. Did you do war paint in the military? Yes. Great line. Okay, now you're gonna go, what is it, up here too a little bit? Yep, I just put a little bit around my brows, try to open that color up, and then I just kind of blend it in. We need that, I'm telling you. like. I'm such a big person on concealer. Like, I talk about it all the time. If I had one beauty product I took with me for the rest of my life, it would be concealer. Really? Like, concealer is just everything for me. Do I look like a warrior? Yeah, that side looks more like a warrior. What am I supposed to do? You don't want me to, should I take off the other side? Nope, it looks good, but put it on. This I is like, my warrior paint though. I put it, yeah, you, you look what? like you'd get your ass kicked in any battle. Excuse me? If I first of all, I hurts, honey. No, 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 no. First of all, let's just be really realistic. Just because you're stronger than me and maybe faster, faster and this smarter brain. And no, 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 no. We all know that I'm the smartest, most ravishing person in the world. This. If people are smarter and faster and all that, you know what I do? I pull out my freaking heels and I freaking go. Bah! Do you make the sound effect too? Yep. 
That wig must be that. too tight. Just saying, there's other ways to win when you're not the strongest, you know? Right. Like, pay the Russian mafia. How's that working out so for you? Do you? Freaking amazing. Do I really? I also so do you not put it right no, here I too? I do. I put it up here because I definitely, like, I love a natural eye and it helps mm. me to open up that, that eye color too. Like, you can already see just from here, like, around my eyes, it's like wide open. I have had maybe three to four hours of sleep and yeah. look at me. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have, like I said, I save everything. This. So wait, you don't put any foundation on? I do, but I do my eyes first. I always okay. do my eyes, and then, okay. but I put that base on because it opens it up and then Perfect. I'll do foundation. So what I do is do my eyes first. This white right here that's normally in like the contour kits, I love. I put that on all over before I even start the colors because it just helps open up mm. a little bit more. I line the eyebrow with this white. Take some of that. And I start in the crease, and then I pull it all out to really get a matte, white, opened finish. And that, like I said, I line that brow at mm. the top, and I make sure I get the corners as well. I'm just gonna take some more. You so. You start in the right there. Corners, right? and I draw it all the way up with that brow line. I, it's probably the cheapest thing that I found. <laughs> but this is great. I mean, I think that this shows like you do not just have to go and buy expensive products at Sephora or Ulta. Mind you, I love these places. Or you don't have to like just go buy super like high designer makeup. Like you can, we can go to the drugstore and buy great makeup. You know. All right, now that I do that, I will, like I said, I'm almost running out, but these are my favorite colors. I've got a, like a shiny white here that I use that I start with. And what I do with that is I'll start in the crease with the white and then I'll go to the top of the brow and I'll line it all the way up. Now this I know is another white. We just used a white, but the difference between that white and this one is it's shiny. We use a matte white to kind of give us a good base. Ooh. And now I'm using this white, which it's almost out so you can hardly see it, but it's kind of got like a pearly white. So I'm gonna take the, the, the per, like not the per one, but this one, right? Well, I use this one. Oh, use that one. Yeah. Oops. Oops. And I just, so this Start curly white, we're gonna take and where are you off oh, in the I'm crease? Like right here, and then I kind of we'll go drag like that so they can you can see the crease. Yep, right here, and then I drag it out to the top, and I just trace right underneath that brow. Okay, so starting in the crease. Right. So we got the white from the crease all the way up. Now I take this. So we don't next do it though in the middle area, right? Nope, because okay. I save this for this gold. There's like a little light gold now because i have blue eyes which you don't um what i do is i take this gold and i pull it from the center where that white is all the way into the up into the middle and up and i meet the white up there now this definitely makes my blue eyes pop my baby blue eyes i mean i've just been blessed with so much look at me this sorry blonde I have hair, blue yellow eyes. eyes that no one else has except for cats so now that my eyes are popping, now that I've Wait, got my gold sorry. and I've got my white. I, where do you put the, 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 gold. the gold? Is it this gold right sorry, here? Sorry, she's a little behind. <laughs> so it's this gold in the corner. It's just a little darker than okay. the white. And what I do is I stop pull. Stop talking and just do makeup. Yeah, you, so you should probably do that. Um, you pull the white and then you mix it in with the gold for the rest of the eye to make the natural blue eye pop. Obviously, if, if you're looking here, she doesn't have a natural um, blue eye. I hate um, right now. And with up. the wig color and the spray tan, I literally, you know what? It's you just Fine. have to learn to kind of work with what you've got. Exactly. You, that's. I mean, look, God gave me this. I'm very hashtag blessed. No, actually, Sam's probably gave you this, honey. I didn't give you that. Let's not. Let's not jump the gun. Don't here. hate on people with wigs. 
All right, so after you do the white, the gold, you know, you've got your eye color. There's two other colors that I mix because one is just a little too dark and one is just not dark enough. And it's going to be these last, right here, you've got this brown and you've got this kind of like shimmery black color. And I mix these two to just do the corner crease here. And I've also changed my brush to like a softer brush um, because I want to do this very lightly. I don't want to do too dark. Um, I don't have tattoos. I don't dye I don't my tattoos hair. Either. Um, I, I don't dye this, my hair either. I keep this very natural as possible. Um, I'm all natural. With that being said, I like pull this I can't. dark, I um, can't. darker color just in the crease and towards the ends. And that also gives me a opened up eye. So it you makes, use a different brush? Yep, it's a softer brush. So I use two different brushes. I use this flatter, like more stiff brush to really get the whites and the golds to blend. But then I've got this really soft brush that I kind of just take that darker color and I blend it in with the crease. And that also makes my eye kind of bigger and pop and so make you the take the, you mix the brown mix and the two. dark brown? Yep. So we're also gonna put on that foundation that we talked about earlier. So what I do is I go ahead and take the mascara and I just go ahead and put it on because you're probably gonna get it on the skin below. And you so what do you use, do you use Maybelline? Yep, I will, I use, um, what is that, CoverGirl? Maybelline, okay. I've got a lot of Maybelline products. I've never even paid attention. It's just what I've picked up and actually worked. This is waterproof because um, obviously we go out there, we wrestle, the yeah. last thing you want is your mascara to be running all over the place. That would not be ladylike. No, a lady would never. I'm gonna actually use, I, 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 I'm gonna use CoverGirl. I love, I love um, drugstore products, but it's, I cannot, it, I mean, she can, I would love for you to talk a little bit more on of how important it is for like makeup to be waterproof because it cannot be running down. Like you sweat so much when you're out there wrestling, yes. you cannot be like looking a hot mess, especially when your character is, a lady, a rabbit. Classy. So after you do the eye and you put a little mascara on at the bottom, I keep I don't do it on the top because I'm gonna do a fake eyelash after the eyeliner. Oh, this is my this. favorite. This is Revlon. It's a uh, color stays skinny. Um, definitely, it's very easy to put on. It's waterproof. It will not run. It's one of the best ones, and it's a very skinny tip, which I feel is so important. Just I start at the end. And I quickly do a swoop to where I need to be. Oh, that's really And then good. I. Oh, wow, you go full out. Oh, God, I'm scared. Like that. And that's the good base. So now I'm going to start from the inside and then I just fill it in. So what I did is, like I said, I started about midway and I brought it out and then I did the wing. And then I then now I just go back and I fill in the color gap here. So remember how like any way to save money, the next thing I do is um, we're gonna put some eyelashes on. These I've already used. I'm gonna continue to use them until they break. These are brand new. I've got four more pair. Um, but yeah, and I'll use those until they break as well because I save money. I don't come from money. Um, any way to save a dollar, a dime, a penny, it does not matter. I will do so. Um, so yeah. I don't care how much money I make, I will never throw money away. I think that's a great lesson though, like to be like the save your money coins, you know, you just can't like, you can't just throw money away. You just can't, I think a lot of people don't understand that, so. Now, when it comes to gluing my eye, my eyelashes on, I always use this the glue adhesive with aloe. I don't know why, it's, it's um, for me, has been the easiest when it comes time to pull them off. It keeps my real eyelashes on. Um, with Wait, this, you glue it with what? This aloe, it's a strip lash adhesive, okay. but it's with aloe. And I'm convinced that that is why it comes off so easy. I'm very good at my eyelashes now. It, this was probably one of the hardest things to really Yeah, I hate doing eyelashes. Um, all right, now, um, once I have my eyes done, that's really, you know, that's a wrap there. I'll put a little bit more um, mascara down at the bottom once we're done. I go ahead and put the foundation on. Um, now, like I said, I've got two colors. I've got the naked, this, um, the naked foundation here. It is actually 
for one in in. It's too dark, especially for right now, like you can see my complexion. Um, but I also have Revlon Color Stay, which I really like because it does not leave a shining. So do, do you just put it on with your fingers? No, I use a brush and I do circuit. I am a huge, huge believer in the circular motion technique. Oh, I never heard um, of that one. Who taught you that? I don't know, I forgot where I learned it, but you too? Or just created it yourself? Nope, I heard it from somebody who knew what they were talking about, and it was not me. Okay, um, back on point. Yeah, so what I do is I do a little bit of contour here, obviously around the whole face, around the jawline, bring it down a little bit. I do have an interview that they're wanting me downstairs for in 10 minutes. So, um, keep it moving. Yep, what but uh, yeah, so I throw on a little contour right here, it's a color, um, and then got my CoverGirl pinks, and that's what I'll do. Blush is very important when it comes to like pen up and um, yes. Well, blush is just really, oh, wow, I did a lot. Blush is just like really important, period. I think people need to understand that, you know? All right, blend it all in. Oh, but, okay, I you put blush on already? In, yep, I put I blush on. Blush I did right. the full contour. I am in a rush, unfortunately. She has um, lots of interviews to do. Again, oh, so excited! I'm so excited for you. Thank you. It's crazy. And I, what I use is a matte lip liner. Oh wait, can I use yours? Yeah, exactly what you use. L'Oreal. And I'll actually um, do it here because yeah, I'm terrible. You know, that's how much I care about what y'all think. Pretty <laughs> much. So everyone, if this is what you want to do, create her look, which is so amazing. Her pinup, her lady sassy southern belle classy, classy. sophisticated confident very natural very beautiful this i love a full do. lip uh if you want to cosplay her look this is what you do this is if you're cosplaying her look for comic con for halloween for a theme wwe party for a theme party period a pinup look, this is what you do. This is how you create this amazing look. It is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful pinup look. It's a beautiful classy look. And it's an amazing, amazing WWE superstar look, which is, that's what I love about your character is like you just really know how to commit and create an entire um, look and vibe. Oh, Ofra, it looks like it's definitely, it does not run off. It, Stays on pretty good, it gives a matte finish. Like I said, today I'm not gonna do that because I've gotta hurry up and go. And then to finish it, I've got two choices. I'll do like a pinup hair, and I will top it off with a, I love the red, the red makes my lips pop. I'll pop it off with a, finish it up with a nice little red hat. Oh, obsessed. Also makes your um, blue eyes pop, the mm -hmm. red. And uh, definitely at a slant because that is. So I'm going to just classy. Or what I love to do is throw on a fascinator on the side and call it a day, Ooh. which I actually might just wear my oh, fascinator downstairs. And then I've got the last thing that I do, because like I said, I hate that glossy um, look. I will open up this Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage uh, Powder Foundation. It's making a mess everywhere. Wow. Like when I tell you, I use it until I can't use it no more. That's what I mean. I am not gonna, and this is very cheap. This is actually a good um, a good price. Uh, but yeah, I'll throw on a little powder to finish it off, oh to God, give it I'm a so nice obsessed. little. How do I do that? It's beautiful. Oh my God, I'm upset. Oh my God, stop it. I'm done. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it matches. It all pops. Oh. I love this. I want to start wearing this hat. What do you guys think? Do I look like a lady? I mean, obviously I'm the most ravishing lady in the world right now. <laughs> Should we be a tag team? Hmm. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming, showing us how to do this amazing pinup look. Um, some other time we'll go into more detail of how to do the hair. She has to run and do some interviews right now. Um, she's making history. We're making history in Saudi Arabia. Um, so the point is 
Learn how to do this pinup look because you'll be making history in countries, breaking barriers, shattering the glass ceiling, and um, yeah, looking classy as ever. Thank looking you for having me and nasty things.